What is the difference between a good teacher and a bad teacher? Classroom procedures. A good teacher prepares their students for the rest of the year by giving them a list of procedures the very first day of class. After that, they continually remind their students until it is embedded in their behavior. By knowing exactly what is expected of them, those students will behave much better in class. Hi, I'm Eric from Etiquette. Today, I'm going to share 20 classroom procedures that you should impress upon your students the first day of class. These procedures come from a book called The New Teacher's Complete Sourcebook, Grades K4 by Bonnie P. Murray. I've linked the article to the description below. Number one, entering the room. Enter the room quietly and politely. Put away your backpack, lunch and coat. Turn in your homework, sit at your desk and read alone or do before school work silently. Number two, lining up. Stand up quietly, push in your chair, take all the necessary items, line up without touching others or talking, face the front of the line and watch where you're going. Number three, leaving the room. Tell me where you're going. Take the correct hall pass. Do not run and play in the hallway or restrooms. Come back promptly. Number four, ending the day. Clean off your desk and leave your work notebook. Pick up any trash near your desk, stack your chair and wait quietly to be dismissed. Five, neatness is next to godliness. If you spill water or make a mess, get the class broom or rag to clean up. Do this quietly without disturbing the rest of the class. We have a group responsibility to the class. Take pride in it and keep it clean. Number six, obtaining help with assignments. Quietly ask students at your table for help with directions if you need it. If you are working alone, raise your hand to get help from me. If you are working in a group, ask them for help. Number seven, handing in finished work or homework. Make sure that your name is written on your paper. Place your paper upside down on the finished work or homework basket. Number eight, question while teaching. If you have a question while I'm teaching, raise your hand. Do not shout out questions. If you have a problem with a friend or want to speak to me about anything, make an appointment to see me after class or during break. Do not interrupt lessons unless it is an emergency. Number nine, when and how to use the school restroom. If I'm not teaching the whole class, stand by the classroom door with your hand raised. If I say no, wait for better class time to go. If I nod, leave the room quietly do not play in the restroom and return to class promptly. Number 10. If you feel sick, let me know. If you are very sick, I will send the class president with you to the nurse. If you have a sudden nosebleed or a major accident on the floor, move away from it and the class president will leave the class to notify the custodian. Number 11. When and how to use the pencil sharpener. At the beginning of each assignment, the person I've chosen to be the pencil sharpener will invite you to have him or her sharpen your pencil. If your pencil breaks during an assignment, use a community pencil. Number 12, getting into work groups. Take all the materials you need, greet each other, complete the task, doing your personal best. Make sure each person signs the project. Thank the others in your group. Remember, only one person speaks at a time. Don't be too loud as to bother other groups. If you have a question, raise your hands and I will come to help you. Number 13, getting a tissue. You may get a tissue from the tissue box whenever you need one. You don't even have to ask. Throw away the used tissue immediately. Make sure it lands in the trash can and then get right back to work. 14. Throwing away trash. You may throw away trash whenever you need to if I'm not teaching the whole class. Do not play basketball with your trash. 
make sure the trash lands in the can. Pick up trash even if it's not yours. 15. Locating lost items. Ask the people around you if they found the item you've lost. If not, check the lost and found box. If it's not there, ask me at a time when I'm not teaching the whole group. If you find it, thank the person who turned it in. Next time, try to take care of your things. 16. Visitors in the classroom. When visitors enter the room, the designated classroom host or hostess will greet them. When the host or hostess introduces the visitor, say, Welcome to our class, Miss or Mr. Remember, most visitors are here to watch you learn, so be ready to explain what you are working on. Treat visitors respectfully. Whenever I'm speaking to a visitor, be on your best behavior. Work quietly without incident. 17. Fire drill. Stop everything. Stand up and head for the door quickly, but without running or pushing. Do not cover your ears or make any side trips. The class captain will lead the class outside. I will stand at the door to make sure all the students are out. Wait patiently, calmly and quietly in line outside until we are allowed to go back to what we were doing. 18. Signals for attention. When I need your attention, I will ring the bell or raise my hand. As soon as you hear the signal, stop what you are doing, pencils down, eyes up and listen for instructions. Number 19. Organizing your desk. Remove all loose papers. Decide if they should go home or stay at school. File them in the right place. Throw away any trash. Make sure your area is clean and neat. And last, number 20. What to do during free time. Once you are finished with an assignment, do not bother your classmates. First, complete any other assignments that you have. When you are done with those, you may choose to do a classroom job, read a book, write a story, illustrate a book, make up math problems, work on research, or peer tutor someone who needs your help. Procedures are super important for students to understand their place in your classroom. If you want to learn more about teaching, check out this next video I've made for you. I'm Eric from Etiquette and I'll see you next time.